Hello, everybody. We're back. Straight away. Last straight, time straight on the Turtle Melon. Turtle died to the rat because he's a stupid piece of shit. I'm, I'm, I mean, my coolant just, like, it's gone. <laughs> it fell behind the wall. Turtle beat Boss Rush because he has some redeeming qualities. I do. Rubber dub dub. Sup, gun. Turtle expressed bad opinions about the video game inscription. No one will agree with that. What my opinion, will happen next? I'll express find out more about opinions. Find out uh, soon <laughs> on the Turtle Melon. You have to be at the announce for all my videos now. Fatal error! <laughs> You've got yourself a job, but it isn't paid. Oh, I should make you a soundboard. <laughs> Fatal error! That looks like a total misplay! Uh oh, bud. Looks like you should get good. We got the shroom Are you having some is... trouble with video games? Looks like you are. Bubble gun is actually really good. With electricity, it's even so better. Soap gun. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, soap gun. Good shit, my guy. Good shit. Right, we are gonna try and beat the dragon and get five junk. Yeah, you didn't couldn't do that last time. I couldn't do either of those last time. Because I couldn't even beat the rat, because I'm a stinker. You can jump over that pit, small. by the way. You can jump that pit, it's the maximum jump distance. Ah, yeah. Yeah, like, you can just barely make it, but it, just in case the tables are destroyed or the enemies are being bitches on the other side, you can just yeah. jump across. Good to know. Good to know. You won't remember it. But this gun is good, <laughs> with electricity. Uh, so last time we were talking about Inscription, Luke expressed, like, really bad opinions, because he doesn't like card games, I guess. And, uh, one of the reasons why I've been focusing on Inscription Act 2 so much is because uh, a guy just showed up and was like, here's Act 2 Endless Mode. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, he just made a, a whole on full on mod that uh <laughs> Yeah, he, he made a he made a hole and we all threw ourselves into it. And inside we found Act 2 Endless Mode. Um nice. And it's it's so nice because that's that's like one of the most requested features for so long because Act 1 has an endless uh, Okay, so there's a difference between endless and infinitely replayable. Yeah. Cuz the Act 2 Endless is both. There isn't an actual end, it just keeps getting harder until you die. Yeah. But it is also infinitely replayable because it is random. Um, Act 1 has an infinitely replayable vanilla version, Casey's mod. And Act 3 has a mod that makes it infinitely replayable. But Act 2 didn't. Which, uh, is... <laughs> has been one of the longest running gripes of the inscription community yeah because oh, it's fine, like we want to we we like playing the card game we want more ways to play the card game and act two is the only part of the game where all four costs interact with each other yeah oh and we're just everyone's just pretty psyched that it actually it's fine you know here. is a thing now and so people are making a lot of cards for Act 2 of the game. Uh, someone I know is working on a port that ports cards from other acts of the game into Act 2 that weren't there originally, like like the Porcupine. Um, That's pretty cool. And, uh... <sighs> oh, shit, gun. Yeah, everyone's chipping in with, like, sprite and code help because they want to see this project succeed. <laughs> I was gonna say, I want it to get bigger and bigger and grow. Yeah. And it's just encouraging. It, it feels good, knowing that Act 2 will finally be appreciated. Sorry for starting a Gungeon recording by rambling about a completely different game. To be fair, I feel like no one here is... Whenever it's me and you rambling, people aren't really here for, for the Gungeon so much. <laughs> I feel like they're, they're here for both, in equal yeah. measure. But they've got the Gungeon gameplay in the background, and they've got the non... like, random chit-chat about nothing Gungeon related. Yeah. I will grind up your b b b bones and eat them. This expensive. Why? Because they're all high tier shit. Heck. 
painted yeah, that, for that's it. one one problem with Broomhilda is that she sells a lot of good items, but because they're good, the game prices them highly. Yeah, she like if she shows on the first floor, it's like unless you got a lot of cares, this is probably a Nurga. Yeah, and you know you could never handle a curse run, so exactly. Maybe, maybe after you've got a few more hours in the game, we can try a curse run. Maybe, maybe we'll have to see. Maybe once you've like grown a little, maybe once puberty hits, you can try curse. Maybe we'll have to see. That seems risky. Also, if you're wondering why I haven't used my frag grenade active once, it's because my microphone is directly in front of my active item, so I didn't actually know I had that. Yeah, this is a pretty neat little active. Again, just oh, you want grenades? We got grenades. We got grenades. We got the goods, boys. I, I don't know why I slip into silly little voices so easily. <laughs> it's very easy to do. I do it as well, too. Oh, we got the goods, boys. Let's go. Let's go. You got this thing. Let's what this, go. What, what does this thing do? Uh, when its bullets hit an enemy, the bullets orbit that enemy. Mm, spicy. It's actually pretty good on bosses because... Most bosses are big enough that the bullet anyways, that's orbiting yeah. them can hit them multiple times. Awesome. Right. We go. We go where? Wait, we have 78. Do we have enough for anything? We have enough for the demolitionist, which eh, is the thing I want least. You would have had enough for the uh, the other if two if you this guy. didn't play that guy or buy a key, I think. Hell. Oh well. It is what it is. But hey, I mean, you got the... Uh, Tetronominator. What did you get? Oh, yeah, you got Tetronominator. So that's much terrible. better than, uh, than a big shotgun. Ugh. Or the exotic, which allows us to see inside chests. Yeah. Which would mean so I think, that I could I make think... the junk more easily, which would have been good. I think you made the, the right choice. <sighs> In terms of advancing my depression, I did. Also, God, man, we gotta get back into Half-Life. <laughs> we do. We gotta get back into a lot of things. We gotta finish Portal 2. Yeah, probably over the next couple, like, if you can find time over the next few days when I'm I'm gonna be feeling at my best, uh, um, we'll probably be... Tomorrow's probably not super plausible. Thursday and Friday might be. Right, yeah. Because I, I feel like if we wait any longer, you're not gonna remember what Half-Life is. Yeah, that's so, I, I already know I'm going to have to prepare like a, a presentation in Google Slides to yeah, remind you are. of the story. You must say, I'm going to have to do last time on the Turtle Melon. Exactly, yeah. So I'm, I'm not going to have any idea what's going on. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be very confusing for me. It, it is a funny little consequence of uh, of just both of us being unreliable fucks that <sighs> just, that we have to do shit like this. Yeah. Well, it's like it's it, there's, there's so many factors. There's you're unreliable mainly just emotionally, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. Anyway, everyone can be, but it just means yeah, that you're I've not. Yeah, I've heard that one not, before. You're not always gonna be up for it, is what I mean. Um, which is completely fair. And I'm, usually, I'm reliable because I'm physically I've... not up for it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm physically down. Exactly, and I, I yeah. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh my but god. How old is that meme? That's like one of the oldest memes yeah. on the internet that people Very still, still um, throw around. And then, yeah, my, my job is just very unreliable and when I actually have to work. So, there's a lot of unreliability. And then, obviously, there's just the fact that our time zones have been so far apart. If we were on the same time yeah. zone, it'd be way easier. And then, of course, I've got the unreliability of the fact that I also have all of my other YouTube videos I have to do. But yeah, while I'm while I am medicated, I'll probably be feeling at my best physically. So yeah, if any time's a good time, it's now. Yes. You should make a bunny. You should make an enemy that only appears in Uraburos mode, that adds Uraburos uh, effects to other enemies. Ooh, most intriguing. Like a like a gunslinger, but I hate him. Stop aiming for those things. I don't want to aim assist onto them. Stop. Uh, aim assist. Fuck you. 
Imagine complaining about the uh, the adult holding your hand as you uh, as you try and use the swings. It's like, oh, this. stop pushing me on the swings so far. I want to swing this distance. It's like, okay, well, if I go, then you'll have to swing yourself. No, push you me, but it. only push me how I want. It's exactly what I'm thinking. God damn it. How does the game not know this about me? I want you to I aim assist, assist, but only onto real enemies. Those little aim assist boys. players, little Aren't babies, real. all of them. If you play with aim assist, you are a certified little baby. I am. Um... Remember when beams didn't have aim assist? That was a fun time. Beams were just useful. No, I don't. Console. No, I don't remember because I've never played with aim assist, and I have no desire to roll back my game to experience and buy a controller on fucking. <laughs> yeah. AliExpress to experience not having aim assist on beams. So no, I don't remember what it, that was like. That was poor. That was, that was, you did that to yourself. I was about to get far enough away in case it exploded. I mean, that was clever, but you know, <laughs> didn't work out. I've just realized I've been trying to save up to buy the Mimic Tooth necklace, but then if I buy that, I can't get any more junk. So it's actually not a great idea. What fucking guy teleport. teleported. I was so confused where he went. I'm unsure. He went to hell. He went to death. Full yeah. of uranium. Uranium? Oh hell. Full of bullets! That's you. Oh shit, I forgot bullets. this thing just stuns the hell out of enemies. This thing's amazing. Yes. Keep it as your second grade, it's, it's goddamn amazing. Yeah, I remember when you didn't like this gun. I was a stupid. Yeah. We know. There you go. Man, I really need to just record with you more so I have the motivation to, to make more guns and release updates to my mod. Because I've been working on uh, Gene. Yeah. Been working on uh, Gene the geneticist for a while. Me and me and Litzias both decided to name him Gene. I like it. Because we thought it would be funny. And it is funny. He's, he's cool. Because we're both we're both dorks. Um <laughs> Sometimes at night I hear the scream. What else was in no, there? Mr. Man. Chest anatomy and toy chest? What does that do? Who knows? Okay. Isn't that just more drops, I think? Can I break this chest before opening this door? No. Okay, so I want to use this thing, really, don't I? It's Dom. Oh, natural door lord. Oh, uh, unlucky. He's like the smallest boss. Yeah. I think he is actually the smallest boss that you could possibly have gotten on this floor. But at least he looks cool now. He's got a little bit of uh, sparklies around him now. He's just barely small enough to escape being hit by the projectiles. That's incredible. The game just went, fuck you. <laughs> but I know your Fuck game, your strategy. I know your game. There ain't no way I'm letting you get away with that bullshit. Not in my house, bucker. There have been a, a few guns I've been, you know, chipping away at in the background that yeah. aren't related to Gene. But Gene has... Gene has a full set of unlocks. Um, and they are... Uh, Centrifuger is one of the most interesting things I, I think I've yeah, put together. Yeah, that's what you told me about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Makes enemies just spin around wildly and shoot in random directions. And the bullets that they shoot while in this state can hurt other enemies. So it's effectively like stun, but it's stun mixed with charm mixed with bunny go speen. I like... What the fuck? What is that? 
What is what? That's okay. So this is the um, the gunner. Uh, that it is. Okay, this is this is the agar gun, which is that one that I th oh, I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. you liked last time. I did, yeah. Binary gun. That's that's one of Sparpies, I think. Ah, quad laser. What the fuck is this? I can't see that projectile. It's an invisible projectile. It looks invisible at least. Huh. Might be finger gun? Then? Maybe, yeah. Get some ammo Either way, I think the Colt, Colt turned out really good. Because it's like burst fire mixed with Double, full order. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that out on my next floor. Let's go. That's a good idea. I should write that down. A gun that has two modules by default. One of them is a burst two shot and one of them's a burst five shot but the burst five shot is weaker that'd be a fun gun hmm. would be intriguing yes oh my goodness right, oh. i'm just sort of now thinking of the logistics of how modules work in gungeon and how like that would be such unreliable reload <laughs> Ugh. why does gungeon make everything so complicated why is everything so clamplicated? It just is. It gotta be that way. Yeah. That teleporting. I teleported right into a pit, fool. Yeah, fuck you! Thank you for the junk. Actually helps out quite a lot getting some junk from those gals. This thing's great. It runs out of ammo pretty quick, but it's good. Wicked soul. That's, uh... What is that? What does that do? It's meant to be a HP up and some stats, I think. Uh, gives great strength at the cost of increasing the potency of any character-related effect. Um, or pre oh, uh, like... prevent any interface from a lot of the jammed while held. I think curse just does more bad shit to you. <laughs> I think it's just when you pick something up that's cast, it gives you double the amount, right? Same difference. Either way, it's fine. I'm happy with it. Why is it going to be so clamplicated? God, I love those fish fish memes as well. <laughs> I love fish memes. Do you like fish memes? Everyone Are you hip with memes. the kids? Fishing memes are just fish memes. Fish memes. Just fish memes. No fishing memes. Yeah. Yeah. We live in funny fish land. Funny fish land. Is yeah. What, funny is that what fish is? <laughs> yes. UK is the land of stargazy pie. <laughs> Ammo. The worst, right, the handball. worst thing humanity has ever invented. <laughs> yeah. I meant stargazy pie, but you know the, <laughs> the UK works too. Yeah. Oh, you know nice. what? You know what? Have you heard of? What do you know? <laughs> I'm what about to I dump this on you like so much stinking maggot infested flesh. What do you know about Garten of Ban Ban? I've literally never heard of that in my entire life. Count your blessings, child. I'm about to be taught something horrible, aren't I? For you have been shielded from knowledge of this horrible fate. God, no, that'd be so good though. Not I should worse. make you play Garten of Ban Ban. It's a game, oh lord. It's like three games with a fourth on the way and a fifth planned, and it's probably going to go to like ten because they're doing it at this point as a cash grab because they're <laughs> shady fucks. Um, God, it's... Garden of Ban Ban is one of the worst pieces of shit that's ever been squirted onto the internet in the last <laughs> few years. And I, I... Oh god, I would love to watch you play it. Is it bad it's, in a good way, or is it just bad? It... It's bad in a way that it's so bad that it's bad, but it's like good, but it's bad. The side. It, it, it defies labels like good or bad. Oh, no. Even though it is bad. 
Oh, so for fuck's sake! Why can that even happen as goddamn robot? You stupid! Fuck you! Garden of Bad Only Man is—it's bad horror. A lot. Which is some of the best bad shit you'll ever see. Yeah, bad horror just ends up being funny. It's like the film The and Mist. It is... The Mist was meant to be horror. That film's just funny. And Gartner Van Ben is, is just a, a staggering display of incompetence <laughs> and greed. Nice. Of people trying to cash in on the, the family-friendly horror game trend. Did I, why did I hit oh. already? What the fuck just happened? Ah, uh, a stray bullet hit you. God damn, I did not see that coming. But yeah, uh, that's something I need to bully you into doing. I'm sure it'll happen at some point. We'll get to it. Wouldn't you do it now while the iron is hot? <laughs> when, when you'll get the views from both people who hate Ban Ban and people who love him. Come on, hit him before he goes I'm under. Jumbo Josh, Aww. bro. The moment he starts doing that animation, he is die, functionally yeah. immune to death. Yeah. He Big can sense. take damage, but he can't go below 1 HP. The blank killed him, because he had 1 HP. Ugh. That is decent. Where the fuck did the arrow go? I don't know. Oh, it's a melee weapon? I'm, I'm confused. I was lo I was looking for an arrow, but it looks like uh, it just uses the arrow ammo type, and it's actually melee. Whatever Weird. it is, it's not useful to me. Grab something new. So, whipped cream, baby. It's Why? so fucking wet. Why? I hate this. Why? This actually reminds me, have you ever considered the fact that, like, as a YouTuber, there will be somebody listening to this right now who is jacking off? I encourage it. I promote it. Fair enough. You know what? That's based and epic. Um, <laughs> there, there'll be something that's watching this, masturbating right now, and then, and then you say, and it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, you know my zipper <laughs> earlier. <laughs> uh, leave a comment if if you're masturbating to this content right now. And if you're leave not, a comment, leave uh, a comment telling us, not? telling us the volume of secretion that you produced. <laughs> uh, and the viscosity. Don't forget the viscosity. Yes, we're we're doctors now. Actually, it's very important medically. Uh, anyways, the pH level God, too. But... <laughs> How did it taste? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, this is this is this episode's defining stupid thing we said, isn't it? It is. Oh God, sometimes I worry about the things I say, and then I remember that worrying is bad for my health. And Thog, no think. Thog only do. Um. Okay, so, you know Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah. It was one of the big, first big mascot horror games. Where it's horror, but it's heavily themed around a, a few mascot characters. Yeah. That's the basic definition of mascot horror. Yeah. Then you had something like... Uh, Hello Neighbor wasn't really a ripoff of Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, I, didn't, I, didn't realize more... how, I didn't realize how big of a name Hello Neighbor was. I thought it was like just two games, but they have like this whole oh, yeah. IP. I also I fucking also crazy. saw that Wicked Wiz video. Yeah, I did um... not I did not know about the fucking craziness that is that goddamn game. Yeah, Hello Neighbor. It didn't. It wasn't directly ripping off anything, as far as I'm aware. But it was heavily based on the mascot horror trend that was partially germinated by Five Nights at Freddy's. 
and as you go, it becomes less and less like it's just in the the sphere, and it becomes more and more like, yeah, this is directly riding off this thing's coattails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, um, you go on for a bit, and then you have uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine, I which think came I've out. I've heard of that, yeah. And it was it was a like Bendy and the Ink Machine is fine. It's a good game. Uh, decent at the very least it's it has its fair share of problems and controversies and stupid shit that it did but generally speaking it's like in comparison especially to the rest of the sphere it is one of the high points yeah then you have poppy playtime which is Oh, you lucky bastard. I I envy you sitting in a bunker all day and not paying attention to what's going on on the internet. <laughs> um, What the fuck is this? I still got three ammo bears. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know what this is. What is it? Uh, so, Gungeon is stupid, right? And it thinks... When, when you duct tape nope. something like Polaris. Ah, oh, shit. So I've got the th I've this got is level, Polaris. I've got level three Polaris. Yeah, and it shows each level of Polaris as a different ammo bar. For some reason. Which means it expunges a lot more ammo than it should. Is it expunging more yeah, ammo? Yeah, two, uh, two, 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 um, 422 down to 418. Yeah, so that's just. I mean, that's okay, again, for permanent third-level Polaris. I'll take this. Let's modify into chicken, a strong enemy. Permanent third-level Polaris is, is pretty good. Yeah. Um, anyways, what I was saying is... Uh, Pop Poppy Playtime came out, and it it is... Like, it still strives to be its own thing. But it is very clearly trying to ride the coattails of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Mm. Because Bendy and the Ink Machine was a horror game that came out episodically. Uh, so episode one would come out and then people would be hyped and stuff would build for like episode two. Yeah, and that's kind of, except, you know, not with, with, without waiting years in between. Um, but that's why... Uh, Bending in the Ink Machine, one of the reasons why it became so popular is because people realized that the episodic format is really good for building hype. Mm, yeah. Um, in in games, and it's especially popular in mascot horror games. So, Bendy did episodic horror, and in Bendy you explore a, a an old animation studio going deeper and deeper into the facility, uh, and meeting animated characters who are actually, like, alive because of the shady shit that they were doing yeah, in the yeah. animation studio. That's the basic premise dumbed down. And Poppy Playtime is that exact same premise, but with a less inspired art style and uh, set in a toy factory instead of an animation studio. Because, <sighs> like, whatever you can say about Bendy, it at least has a very unique style. Like, Bendy has a very striking art style that mm. uh, immediately, if you see a screenshot from the game, you can tell this is from Bendy and the Ink Machine. This is a, uh, this is its style. You unlock Junklets, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, that's uh, one thing going in Bendy's favor. Poppy Playtime is uh, not anywhere near as visually unique. It tries to make some of its props, like, its props follow a distinct style, but the general uh, appearance style, of yeah. the game, yeah, is, is just sort of Unreal Engine. Um, ah. I think it's Unreal. Might be Unity. Either way. Just generic looking, yeah. Yeah. But at least Poppy Playtime, for all its flaws, had, it still had redeeming qualities. It it did effectively build like hype with its episodic format. It um 
because it, it also did the episodic format and you you're exploring this toy factory and the toys are actually alive there's living toys because they were doing shady shit in the toy factory and again that's the exact same premise but with toys yeah and uh there have been a few really good sequences in poppy playtime so far like just speaking objectively i don't i'm not a fan of poppy playtime i think it's just kind of generally shit but i can recognize and will recognize that it has plenty of redeeming qualities yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a the, the, you can tell why it might have some following yeah there is a vent chase sequence in the first part of Poppy Playtime that is genuinely one of the best vent vent chase sequences I've ever seen. Mm. Like, and I, vent chase is kind of a genre of oh, of chase sequence yeah, yeah, at yeah. this point. And Poppy Playtime produced one of the best vent chase sequences I've ever seen, and I will I will rightly laud it for that because it was good in that regard. Um, Poppy Playtime also introduces fairly unique puzzle mechanics that I've not seen in other games. And while I don't think the game is overall good, I think that it is made by very competent people, and even though it is riding on the coattails of something else, it is at least trying to have its own it's identity. It's trying to find its own uniqueness, yeah. Yeah. So I, I think that they fall in... Instead of calling it bad, I think it's more fair to say that it's just fallen short of what yeah. it wants to be. Um, and it, it could have done a lot better if it wasn't, you know, as rigidly copying the basic yeah, yeah. story beats of Bendy and the Ink Machine. If it kind of went um, its own direction a little more. It's a, it's a bigger risk, but you could have had something a bit more with its own brand and identity. And then, uh, off the tails of Puppy Playtime, you have Garden of Ban Ban, which is like three layers inbred. <laughs> um, and Garden of Ban Ban is trying to do what Poppy Playtime did, but it's made by two people who are immensely lazy. So they just like super shortcuts on everything. Yes. The, the basic plot of Garden of Ban Ban is uh, you are exploring a an under... Okay, at least with the... Uh, with, with Bendy and the Ink Machine, the animation studio goes deep underground, and it's like, okay, I can accept that the studio goes underground because it is a corporate building, yeah. and I don't know. I'll accept that if they're... I'll accept that there are reasons you could justify why an animation studio is underground. Because it's not, like, meant to be a friendly environment, generally. It's meant yeah. to be a workplace. Uh, with Poppy Playtime, it's a factory. Which is like, okay, that also makes sense to be underground. I 100% understand why this building is buried. Garden of Ban Ban takes place in a kindergarten. <laughs> which is a sprawling <laughs> underground complex. Wait a minute. Garden of Ban Ban, for some reason, thought that the um, the way that they could uh, do, do what Poppy Playtime did, which is just what Bendy did, is uh, by <laughs> do doing a kindergarten. And you explore the depths of this abandoned <laughs> you know, kindergarten. Now that you're describing it, I definitely have seen something about this before. You explore an abandoned kindergarten, and the mascots of the kindergarten are alive because the kindergarten was doing some shady shit. And out of Children all three, Animation Studio, Toy Factory, and Kindergarten, Kindergarten feels the least thought through to be a sprawling underground complex. Yeah, there is no there is no way anyone would let their child go to a kindergarten if it was underground. I'm sorry, but it's not <laughs> happening. Unless it's post-nuclear war. You don't send your children to the kinder cave? <laughs> the kinder bunker. Take your spelunking kit, children. I will see you in six days. God, it's so... 
and and the reason why like i i deeply love garden of ban ban and hate it at the same time because it is so bad and lazy and just shit and it is so built on men so many layers of trying to be something else like it is trying to clone the story of something that is already a clone of something else's story. yeah it's like you know when you clone things too many times their de it's yeah. dna degrades and it gets like tumors and it gets messy and cancerous yeah yeah that is garden of ban ban <laughs> It's like it's like if you have like inbreds that inbreed that inbreed, and it just by then yes. they're just an absolute mess. Yes, a Garden of Ban Ban has a Habsburg jaw. <laughs> and I'm sorry for rambling about a game that I don't like so much, but it's just fascinating to me that just the the general atmosphere that the game <laughs> provides. The uh, the game itself as well. Uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine had a very striking visual style, and Poppy Playtime sort of went away from that, and Garden of Ban Ban sort of goes back to having a striking visual style, but it's striking in a bad way. Also, you forgot oh, no. to get the uh, the thing and go to the rat, but at least oh, you got junklets. We, we've just been talking so much about Garden yeah, of Ban Yeah, we have. Ban. I'm just an autopilot while I play this. Yeah, um... So I'm just listening to the story. Oh no. Oh dear. He broke. Oh D. Oh D. Oh D. Okay, I'll be fine. Will you though? Yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, so anyways. Gartner Bandman goes back to being very visually distinct, but it's visually distinct because it looks like ass. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's distinct in the way that, like. I don't know, something can- it's distinct in the same sense as a parking garage can be distinctly <laughs> devoid of anything interesting to look at. Like, uh... Whereas, at least in Poppy Playtime, they would put props in the environment, and there's, like, stuff to look at. This boy is even they, taking damage, by the way. They, they tried to build interesting environments. Yeah. In Garden of Ban Ban, it's just empty corridors. <laughs> There's nothing they, to be done. To call them a corridor it almost feels disingenuous because corridors will typically ha be lined with doors or will have a, a wall trim or something interesting in them. These are just boxes. It's just walking around just, empty yeah, fucking boxes with, with fucking beige colored walls uh, while Ban Ban tells you all <laughs> about how he wants to fuck you. Oh lord. Also, yeah, the developers are just like I don't know where they're from, but they they just voice everything themselves, and they they could not sound like they. <laughs> I, I think they voice everything themselves. Yeah, they they could not sound like they could care less. Hi, it's me, Ban Ban, and welcome to Garden of Ban Ban. Uh, and, and that's like I'm joking, but that's kind of how he sounds, just with a, a <laughs> thicker, a thick accent. Yeah. There's yeah. this guy who's supposed to be really intimidating, and he just talks like moist critical. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. God. Um. Still sounds shockingly bad. Yes, it is, and I love it so much because it is just like watching. It's like it's like visiting the site of a natural disaster. <laughs> it's like going to Pompeii. <laughs> the remains. See what see what's happened since. Oh my god. Yeah. God, I shouldn't have rambled about it for so much. It just dominated the discussion. <laughs> no, it was interesting, definitely. Oh my god. Oh. I really want to get you to play it now, but, you know, everything in its time. Yeah, we've got, we've got plenty of things to get through. Yeah. Oh. That was some good gin. It truly some was. Some good gin. Yeah. yeah. It's the the gun gin oh. of all time. It's the gun gin of all time.
But you got an unlock at least. Yeah, got junklets. We, we did something. And junklets is good. But yeah, we're, we're going to record, hopefully, record some more Gungeon um, soon, and we'll play as um, the new character. The bait is available uh, to test with yeah. now on the, the this geneticist. Discord. So apparently, he's a character Absolutely that I hyped. would definitely, I would definitely play wrong if not guided on how to do so. So I'm not going to play it unless never name's here. But I'm going to make sure. Make sure first... I get at least an hour to record with Never Named over the next few days so I can record an episode as cheap. Yeah, the first time should probably be with help. Yeah. I think you'll probably at least remember the gist of it. After that point, yeah. But, you know, I know you and I don't trust you because <laughs> I know you. Good stuff. Anyways, we'll end off the episode here. Uh, unfortunate death, but honestly, robot is hard and I'm not good, so... Man, I want a little lamington. Just, you've been saying that, like, for the past two hours. Just eat all of them now. But there's not that many left. Buy more. True, good point. Good point. Buy them all. Oh, I, I have the last lamington in the world. I haven't even had one yet. People all on their way to Google what the fuck a lamington is. <laughs> Isn't that the, uh, the the box that gives you cursed items? Ah, yes, Lamington. Lamington continuum. No, no, you're thinking. No, that's the. No, you're thinking of um. That's the that's the. Lament I'm, configuring. I'm, you're thinking I'm, of the book. The book that gives you wisps in oh, no. uh, the Binding of no, Isaac. I, I know. I know what it is. It's those little worms that jump off cliffs. Oh right, worms. Whatever they are. Little prairie looking Hold on. things. No, I, I, I know what I know what you mean. You're talking lemmings. about lemmings. Yeah. I'm just gonna drag this away from the joke. What the fuck do you mean worms? Because it reminds me of the game worms. That's basically it. So I just always think of them as lamb what lambs? Worms. Even I would not. think it would remind you of the game Lemmings, but No, but I guess... the game Lemmings reminds me of the game Worms, because I played Worms, I didn't play Lemmings, but they were based on one another. The little worms that, you know, the little worms that throw themselves off cliffs, you know, lemmings. <laughs> Close enough. I I'm just stunned. I was doing a whole bit and you just knocked me out of it when you <laughs> said that. Like, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fantasy. Something's not right. Fear. Fear kicked in. <laughs> Visceral fear. We should go before you say anything else stupid. Yeah, that's a good idea. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and like I said, hopefully Never Named will be here for more Gungeon soon. But we've at least got this week's episode be. covered. Um, today's the today's episode, which would would this is confusing because I'm talking about today's episode because it's Tuesday, which was actually the episode we just recorded. So when you guys watch this, and I'm saying today's episode, you're actually listening to me talk about the episode from earlier in the week. Hmm. What? Anyways, I'm, I've confused myself. Either way, we're going to end off the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.